Hi everyone, my name is Kat Thomas. I'm employed here as a JM2 leader and also as a team leader for the Bushfire Recovery Team, which you'll see in the, the slide. Yeah, so I lead a team of five for the Bushfire Recovery and we are underway of recruiting two more um, Gunakana people, young, young persons, um, to join the Bushfire Recovery Team. I've been in this role since March last year and undertook project planning for Bala. So really from the early early stages through to right up until now. Um, we are one of six traditional owner groups in the that was affected in the fire foot fire foot footprint. So that sit under reading and healing for country. We sit under theme five, maxim, maximizing long term resilience. And um, out of that comes our actions and activities. So the BFR crew, Bushfire Recovery crew. Um, so we sort of started out with Uncle Russell. Uncle Russell is our rat manager here at Glowat. He came out with two of his other rat um, uh, cultural heritage um, crew members out of his head of his team um, and really we wanted to sort of start off with the crew to, to be out on country and get a feel for country and especially after the fires. Um, there's a few things but you can see in the pictures they started off with really sort of learning um, because they're so young they you know they don't um, know much about their culture or, or about the country so they're actually learning um, you know sort of from fresh. Um, they started out with camera surveying um, with um, the infrared camera. Um, I'll go back to my guesses. Um, so we engage the Gunakana community using Glowax community communication networks and tools and support information collection for employment opportunities. So that's where we sort of started fresh from the ground, getting a crew together and then yeah, working collaboratively with our with other agencies. I'll play a little bit of the video. We did the first after our cultural day out with Uncle Russell, with the team and the crew, um, and some of our other Aboriginal staff, we came up with a video that sort of explains how we go forward. So, I'll play the video. Following the 2019-20 uh, fires, the state government uh, made a decision to invest in biodiversity recovery. Part of that package of funding has a, a real deliberate focus on uh, supporting traditional owners in a program or a project. Its title is Reading and Healing Country. The project is about reconnecting uh, traditional owners with country in a way that they might not have felt they've had an opportunity to do for, for quite a long time. Really uh, privileged to have Uncle Russell Mullet out here with us today. Russell was able to share some stories about how to read a cultural sign in the landscape. A really important place. When you see this sort of country, and you'll, you'll get around the bush, when you see this sort of country with that low timber in it, you know that you're on the land of the traditional hunting grounds. Today in particular with Mark and, and Mark's crew, was a wonderful experience for our people to be shared some knowledge of what, how they do it. And I guess, thing is why and some of that came through in our conversations today and things around fires and bushfires and, and the need to know where these values these important totem values are in the landscape coming out on a daily basis and doing this sort of work in the bush a unique opportunity to interact with not only the country but the animals that live in this country and to record them to understand what they're doing out here it's even important for us as Gunakana people to learn, you know, what's in our parks that 
wasn't recorded even before the fires. Usually after fires it'll start bringing up different types of plants so yeah it'll give us time to sort of read and learn about country. This is the first time done out on country um, and I love it. I love the way it makes you feel and that um, it's like really culturally connected. The relationship between DELP and GLOWAC is we're only building the first foundations and this is the first step in, in saying to DELP that we, we'd like to take our responsibilities, our cultural responsibilities on board. And to do that, we need to work with DELP and we need to establish the foundation and then to build on that foundation. That was a good day today. We, we had uh, people from DELP, from Parks Victoria, and uh, the Gunai Kurnai Land and Water, so Glawak. And I, it just felt like we were finding a way to talk about uh, biodiversity values, not from a science, not just from a cultural, not from just a land management, but actually having a good, good chat about what these special values mean to all of us. And that doing management needs everyone playing in the same space. So yeah, caring for country is, and healing country is, um, yeah, it's, I mean, very special for me and I guess with the crew, I want them to have that as well, like, you know, being able to send a message out to other young Gunnarkana people out there to get on board and, yeah, have that experience as well. If we don't have a healthy environment, we don't have a healthy, healthy mob. So yeah, after the, the, that video was actually made, the crew actually started to yeah go out and um, we, we were able to sort of have a bit of a play around with the cameras and get used to it and learn. Um, and we started off around up at Buffing Cage Reserve um, and because there was no one around so we had it all to ourselves <laughs> and there was animals and the wombats and wild birds running everywhere so um, yeah and then we kind of had the opportunity um, to the crew had no clue how to work these cameras so we were kind of um, um, going off from my previous work with um, National Parks in New South Wales um, where I did a lot of um, monitoring for the long nose potteroo up in southern New South Wales. And um, Hamish from Parks in uh, Buffen asked if, if we wanted to put a couple of cameras in one of the caves up there um, that got affected by the flood straight after the fire. And um, as you can see, this little picture here, um, it only took, the camera only took about five photos. And um, we were quite sort of disappointed because they, um, yeah, they weren't quite sort of set up properly. But after going through those five photos, um, I kind of went through the float and we ended up getting little clubs. Um, so they, they were fresh um, digs and stuff inside where they were burrowing um, and poops and stuff in the mud. So we knew that was that were there but um it was more exciting catching them in the main so we were all excited and um so after that they um started getting used to the cameras. Our sort of first little patch was up in Thai Range, so the between now now and Buckham that is starting there. Um that part of the country was badly burnt, um, except for some of the little that South facing um, rainforest pockets, we ended up getting the Podaroo. Uh, female one little joey in a couch um, in December last year. Okay. So, does anyone have any questions for Kat? 
I've got one. So where to from here? Where to from here? We're actually um, so I sit on the bushfire recovery. Um, what are we called, Mark? Yeah. So there's the other traditional owner groups as well. Um, so we're sort of talking about doing a lot more around cultural burning, so putting fire back, the right fire back into country. Um, so yeah, the, the crew are getting trained up to do that and yeah, so we'll be able to sort of put aside our, now we've known the, the actual, um, you know, what's out there now, we've got to start to sort of look out to protect them on country and, and um, they're really looking after country. Um, and working, you know, a lot more now with agencies and working together to go forward. So, yeah, we're doing good stuff. That's great. Great. Right. Andy, was there any questions on the virtual room? No? Mm -hmm. Did anyone ask? Yeah. Thank you, Sarah. Kathy, that was brilliant. I love to be here on a Um The team, given that it's a bushfire recovery team, is that going to be something that's ongoing? Because it would be great to see that team in place formed again so that we can keep this kind of stuff happening rather than having it short term. Yeah, definitely. They'll, yeah, they'll still be around. So, um, we're hoping with, if the funding stops, then um, they'll fall into different managed spaces in Garlac. So, so they're actually now teaching the trainee rangers how to more so look up the country as well. So. Yeah. Right. Yeah. One more question. We've got some questions. Are you able to take more photos of animals? Yes, we have stacks of photos. We, <laughs> we're, um, yeah, hopefully, yeah, we'll be able to sort of see them. We're, we're going to sort of put some videos and stuff together for school groups. So, yeah, we have stacks. <laughs> Thanks, Kathy. Thank you. Bye-bye.